It used to be once over, it was all purely for horse racing and maybe football or other, other sporting events. But now, the reason why betting shops are opening everywhere, all over the place, and that's not, not just Preston, but in the, all over the country, is they've got a, a license to print money with fixed up betting machines, which are like roulette machines, uh, bandits as we call them. And the, those, those are actually, that, that is not a sporting sort of thing, it's just a, a way to make money and it caused a lot of debt and poverty. I don't mind them, but I do think there are a lot. There's a, there's a lot less shops in Preston. There's no, like you said, there's no clothes shops, is there, anymore? It's, everything's betting shops. And they're all near us, Camel Lane. There's actually two betting shops next door to each other. If you can afford to bet and afford to gamble, I suppose it's not that bad, but yeah, I, I gamble online sometimes, don't I? Now and then, sometimes I win, but I lose more than I win. I don't think they're a bad thing, but it's a bit of a shame that they're taking over this amusement place because there's too many around Preston, as it is. It's the choice then, it's up to them. If they want to go in, put a bet on, then fine. I do it. I do it once a year at the National. I'm from Liverpool, we all do it. But that's it. You don't go on spending thousands, you know. But I think it's a small minority of these people who do and it's a shame, really, because they're hoping that they win the million, and who doesn't? That's why you play the lottery. That's why you go to Bing.